Hello, this is Roy from Tesla Owners US. And why I am here in the Model Y Luna and what it is all about, I will tell you after the intro. It's, I promise, that's a great story. Hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Yeah guys, it started with that we wanted to update our navigation map or there was actually a message uh, we cannot navigate anymore because the map needs to be updated. So the map was not updated, so what we then tried to do there's another Wuzela car here. And what we tried to do when the map was, map was not updated, we contact remote service and said, hey, can you push us the map to our car? Because it cannot be updated. So yeah, let me try that. So we connected the car with uh, the Wi-Fi network and it downloaded about 20% from that and then it got stuck. So the map was not updated. Then I said, okay, good, you need to come for service. And then he said to me, oh, by the way, we noticed that the EMMC ship probably need to be upgraded. And you have already an EMMC ship installed. And because of that, you have one installed. We cannot use your old one to repurpose, to recycle. And you already put another ship to it. And I did have to, and I posted that, why I didn't put another ship to it because I didn't want my wife get stuck uh, in the middle where there's no main computer anymore where you cannot do uh, wipers or you cannot do uh, con air conditioning, cooling or heating and you got stuck in the middle when I'm on a business trip. So I did that on my own because we found out about that, we call it the, I call it the black screen of death and it was always denied from Tesla that this uh, is ever happening until Finally, uh, NHTSA or National Highway and Safety Authorization told them you got to update that and this is a mandatory recall. Now, yes, it is a mandatory recall, but there's no date to that. So basically, it's a tiger without tooth. But we, are, we have two little chihuahuas and they are very mean, but they don't have any tooth, so we laugh about them. So basically, that's happened the same with Tesla. There is no appointment or a date for that when that needs to be fixed. But I told them then, for guys from Tesla, hey guys, I discovered that and one, once, you are, once you are there and put a new map on it, why don't you uh, upgrade the chip? Because that should be free, right? Because it's a recall. And they said, yeah, okay, we do that. So then they had a couple of questions and went back and forth. I actually never talked to the guy. So then, my, and then we had made an appointment. My wife brought the car to that at the appropriate time. Did not get finished at the day. So we kept the loaner in hostage, that bought a Y. It's a nice car, thank you, but they gave us that loaner. They do not always guarantee that you get one, but they guarantee that you get home when you bring the car. And then, they sent me a proposal <laughs> and that was the most amazing thing and, and I don't know what's coming out of that. We will find out. Then they sent me a proposal and said, okay, what we're going to do with you is we sent you this proposal. We're going to update the main computer, we $1,500, the main MCU. We up, update another computer, $500 for that. And then we get $100 for the non-core return. The core is the EMMC ship, what I updated for the safety of my wife. Because I was so dumb to discover it and fix it for myself. So, good for that. And I told them that, hey, I was a guy who discovered that with Gruber, that there is a problem for that and I fixed it for myself. So basically I paid, I think, $450 for the transport back and forth because they put the chip on the new 64 gigabyte chip, uh, uh, memory chip in, uh, 
in Europe. Okay, was done. So I said, okay, good. Let you know, guys, I have to pay a hundred dollar core return, non core return for that. But I was amazed about the, I think about 1500, no, no, 2000 with tax, 2200, 2300 dollar or so. So a simple map, navigation map update probably would have turned into $2,000. So let's go there and talk to them and see, I never signed actually that I wanted to do that. They never called me. They sent me uh, one proposal after the next one. Actually, I wanted to know options because I probably would have JJ uh, install that uh, MCU for myself because he is twice as fast you know, with that. And I posted that when we took the MCU out and put the new MCU in. He's probably he's twice as fast, and he was a ranger at Tesla for that time. And uh, and I don't have to pay all of the uh, maximum amount of labor when someone else does it. So I could have done it really cheaper. And they didn't give me an option. They said, "Hey, you get a new MCU. Now oh, it, it's a new MCU. That's pretty 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 good." because it's more powerful but this should be actually downwards compatible it should not be always being yeah you know well sorry then do not upgrade the system and do something else but but think about your customer you cannot charge him for a navigation map update two thousand two hundred dollar so this is just a warning for you guys that if you have an older Model S, just do not throw it there and then uh, they, they, they're going to install a new MCU because that's what they can do. They can change parts, but they cannot repair. So they can change parts good, maybe you got a new computer, we will see how it turns out. Stay with us, we're coming right back with you. Yeah, something what I want to show you, there's some cool functionality, so that one is pretty cool. The stop sign is coming, I'm going to show you that. The traffic light is coming, lane arrangements, uh, navigation. This is uh, just a model Y with enhanced autopilot. I think there's enhanced autopilot on this. And then it, it takes a blinker for that one, we just have to confirm and to the left. And then it does a lane change. So really, uh, awesome things eh? that is that is even better than what we have on the Model Once X right now the on the right. and then I have to take that exit here and it returns so but cool stuff and it recognizes a whole bunch of traffic signs a stop sign and now let me see if I can show you also the traffic light here I have to turn right soon. In 500 feet, turn right onto North yes. McClintock Drive. So, and here's a traffic light coming up. It shows green, and and it shows there. You can see green now as turn well. right onto North McClintock Drive. It shows Drive. even a traffic light in the distance, and it turns yellow, also. Which is excellent. I I think this is a good idea. And then sometimes you have to confirm that traffic light information. Yeah, and this is Tempe. So we're almost there. Mal, hier seht ihr den Linksabbieger, der ist rot. Und die anderen sind hier grün. Die Fahrzeuge fahren durch. Wir sind hier an der Haltelinie. Das passt sogar ziemlich genau. Und hier geht's ab auf University Drive. Also, das ist schon. Äh, gut gemacht. Das Stop Sign zeigt auch, haben wir gerade kein, gerade kein Stop Sign Zeichen hier, aber das ist schon ziemlich cool. Das ist mit der neuen Funktionalität. Und er zeigt auch die Ampel hier ganz links rüber, die an der Ecke steht für den Abbieger. Ja. So, here we are. Now turn right. Let's push the car here on a parking spot. And then let's find out what they're saying. So here we go. I 
didn't get that super clean, but uh, I vacuumed the car and then I washed it as well. So, and it's charged to 240 miles, it's probably 75%. So they should have it ready to go again. Okay, I'm back. And uh, it is, we came to an agreement because they installed brand new MCU. I think a new version of the MCU because the navigation system could not be downloaded anymore on the old MCU. It's because of any reason. At the same time, sure that they up, up, upgraded that uh, uh, EMMC ship and there should, the EMMC ship should now have 64 gigabyte. The one thing what was on the bill, and I can put that here in as well, was the radio, I think it was TuneIn, Cyrus, AM, radio and so on, additional unit. And I really don't uh, listen to radio or to Cyrus radio or to XM radio. I just listen to my own music or I listen to books or listen to news or for my iPhone and other things for my iPhone. And I really don't need it. And then I said, hey guys, you should have asked me about that. I said, they asked my wife, so I called her and she said, no, no, I just dropped the car and said, they need to talk to me. And then they looked at the documentation and back and forth. And then we came to an agreement and the service manager there, he said to me, and I know him since six and a half years, he said, I took that off. And so it ends up to be, yeah, the $1,500 for the new MCU, the $100 for the non-core return, and additional taxes, but about $1,700. So, but I know they need to have a new unit now. I can do karaoke and all the fancy stuff in the car. And my wife has, and I tried the navigation, it's really fast. One thing what didn't work is, and that's a common mistake, is they disconnected, the, they did not reconnect the rear camera. You got this maroon connector. Um, if you miss this guy, you won't have um, 3G or 4G internet okay. connectivity. Uh, this blue connector right here yeah. is your GPS. If you miss that guy, you won't have GPS. The blue connector on the other side is your backup camera. Uh -huh. White one is Ethernet. Goes to the diagnostic port underneath. And the rear camera is in the MCU there. It's uh, just a regular cable there. I need to connect it. So I have to correct myself because that was actually a software problem. I did a software upgrade in the night and in the next morning when I tried to back up the car out of the garage, it was working again. So that needs to be fair. That was a software problem. It is solved now. Okay, uh, that was it and uh, talk to you the next time. Bye-bye.